And Marie, we're on 465 on the northeast side of the city. And as you can see, looking through the windshield, we are in typical every night traffic. And that's great. That's an improvement to what we saw out here during the lunch hour. This place still was snow shoulder to shoulder hours after the snow had stopped. Why did so little snow cause so many headaches and for one family so much heartache? We've handled a lot more than in the past. Talking to transportation officials, they say blame the polar vortex and all that sub-zero weather it dumped on the city for a couple of days. The morning rush for many drivers was mayhem. Interstates and city streets covered with ice and snow. Accidents and slide-offs they were examples of just how dangerous the roads were and a warning to others to slow down. Getting to work was uglier and trickier than Jeff Williams expected. Really, if you look around, uh, maybe three, four inches, if that. I've seen heavier snowfalls where they were kept clean a lot better. As the morning progressed, drivers' frustration flew across social media. Amy demanded to know, is the snow crew on strike? Where are all the plows, Leonard asked. Phil chimed in, you did a horrible job. Thanks. City and state plows were out as the snow started falling. Salting pavement that was extremely cold, about 15 degrees, well below freezing. Because the road temperature was so cold, that snow fell and it stuck right on there. And all that road salt? Because of the cold temperatures, that salt isn't as effective as it was a couple weeks ago. Some school districts, wanting the roads to be clear for buses, delayed classes, then canceled them. 465 was a mess all morning. All around the city, interstate travel slowed to a crawl. This is brutal. 465 on the northeast side, five lanes wide, and not one of them completely clear of snow. Caught in the tie-ups was a frustrated Nancy Smith. It started snowing last night, and it seemed like there was plenty of time to make a difference, and not much was done. Some drivers avoided it all. Commute to work was great, Zachary posted. Went to my kitchen, then went back to bed. Good idea. Sitting in this traffic right now, there's probably more than a few people who wish they'd taken that advice, stayed home and went to bed, but they couldn't. They had to go to work. The work on these roads is still not done. Getting on just a few minutes ago, we saw a pack of snow plows, in-dot plows, moving down the shoulder and clearing the way. The best thing you need to do tonight, go slow, be careful, and look out for those plows. Angela, Andrea, Angela? <laughs> All of